And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing the killer round. We're playing as a piggy. We're going to take a look at her loadout. We've got Hex Ruin and Hex Undying. Ruin will stay up as long as Undying and Dull Totems are on the board. Surveillance. That'll let me know when someone gets back onto one of those generators that's regressing. Barbecue and Chili, they'll give me some more readings as well as some more of those sweet, sweet blood points. We're playing with the Tamper Timer and the Crate of Gears. The timer reduces the RBT death timer by 30 seconds, which is pretty substantial. The Crate of Gears means it takes longer for someone to search a jigsaw box, so a greater chance for us to get a head pop. reason we're playing these add-ons is we have more of those than we do the common ones, like the Combat Straps and the Last Will, so... Yep, just trying to get rid of them, but, uh, you know, will we be able to get a head pop with them anyway? That's the intent. We'll see if we can do it in just one second. All right, we're at the Crotus Apprentice Asylum for this particular match, and usually when we get this map, we pretty much, I'm just going to assume our totems are going to be destroyed pretty quickly if, you know, anybody bothers to look for them. Uh, we started our ambush attack before we really wanted to, we saw the Yui starting to run away from us. That was not really our intent. Oh, somebody over here. Oh, multiple people over here. What's up, guys? Let me get you off that generator. Oh, Yui. No, 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 Yui. No, 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 no. No, 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 Yui. That's not going to work. See, that's the problem. Somebody already knows where my totem is. Yui. Hey, it's a Steve over here, too. Yui, get off my totem, okay? So I broke it anyway. That was undying, so that totem that the Steve saw is ruined. What the hell nonsense are you doing, Yui? We are wasting so much time in chase. Everybody we've injured, other than this Yui, has already healed. I'm guessing the Steve didn't see our totem over there, which is the only reason it's still up. So to be honest, I think I want to keep the action over here. Oh, he's already breaking the totem. I'm never going to get to it in time. Yep.
Well, three of the four team members are over here. Yeah, I know. We're not we're not doing that, buddy. Feel free to finish that generator. Hey, you we already got that trap off. Wow. Uh no. That's a little disturbing. Oh, Claudette, your trap is active now. Hey, who got the unhook? <laughs> yeah, blind me. That's that's okay. Fine. You've already been on a hook once this game. You sure you want to go back? Oh, Claudette. Oh, that sucks, Claudette. That sucks, Claudette. Yeah, let's carry you away from that box. And put you over here. Oh, we're coming back. Uh, was you dead hard? That was a dead hard. You don't have it left to you, my man. Let's get one of these on your head. Pretty sure you dead hearted me over there. Well, Claudette ain't getting that box off there. That's the end of Claudette. Hey, what's up, buddy? You probably have decisive, so, you know. Yep, Steve. Got one of these left for you, buddy. And they picked Dash up, but we delayed him.
Where are you going, Yui? Hey, we know that Yui's here. So at this point, we're forcing Ash. We're forcing Ash to get the rescue at this point. Which means he's going to have to take time that he should be using to get his timer off. Oh yeah, we can do this, you if you want. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave you slugged. That Ash kind of needs to... Oh, like I said, Ash was being occupied, so... Yui? At this point, I mean, we both know you're here. <laughs> yep. So. We know that Steve doesn't have Unbreakable. He would have used it if he had it. Yui, you're dead. And there's poor Steve. So we got the tamper timer. So we got the tamper timer to work well. The way we wanted it to work. And slugging sometimes can do just as good a job. And we'll talk about it here in a second. I doubt we're going to find the hatch. We are not. So they got us down to one generator. They were very efficient. They got our totems down. In the very beginning of the match, things started off kind of slow for us. We, uh... We started with the Yui. We chased the Yui around the map quite a bit. We ran into a whole party and gang of people by the killer shack. Unfortunately, we also ran into one of our totems over there. And it was pretty quick where they were going to get our totems done and there wasn't really much we were going to be able to do about it. So we knew we were going to lose Ruin and Undying because that's what happens on a map like this. The totem swans just are just not that good. Um... What did happen, however, uh, we got two head pops. One was the Claudette, and the other one was the Ash. And the reason we got the head pops is, well, when you play against the Tamper Timer and Creative Gears, you don't know that those are in effect necessarily. Maybe when you search a jigsaw box, maybe it dawns on you that, hey, this is taking a little bit longer than it normally would, but you don't play against the pig every round, so more likely than not, that's not necessarily something that you're realizing. So... What ends up happening is sometimes you do other things, and with the Claudette at least, I think the Claudette may have been involved in working on a generator or breaking a totem or doing something while she had an active trap on her head. And at some point, we disturbed her. I'm pretty sure we disturbed her off the box and maybe downed her off a box, and all it takes is that much of a delay. You're, you're trying to search a box. You get partway through with this combo, and you get knocked off of it and maybe hooked. You know what? I think, which is what I think happened. I'll have to look back at the match and see. But if that is what we did to the Claudette, that delay alone was enough to go ahead and and probably cost her the 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 trap killing her. 
And at that point, we had a three-on-one. So what ended up happening was we got the ash down, finally. We got a trap on his head that was active. And once his trap was active and we were able to find the Steve, we were able to down the Steve and we slugged him. And we actually slugged him multiple times because what that did was once we, we saw Yui, we got into a chase with her. We didn't even need to catch her. We just needed to occupy her so she couldn't pick up Steve. That forced Ash. In order for them to have a shot to win the match, it really kind of forced Ash to go back to try to pick Steve up, which he eventually did, just for us to, you know, eventually down him again and get back into a chase with the Yui. And at that point, Ash was really kind of up, you know, at, at one point we hooked Steve. And the problem was when Steve's on the hook, that's what it was. We had Steve on the hook before we slugged him, chasing the Yui. Steve was either going to die on hook or Ash was going to have to leave the boxes to go rescue Steve, which he did. But the problem is he was not quite as lucky. Yui was lucky. She got her trap off first time. Ash, not so lucky. It definitely wasn't the first box he searched. And the time it took for him to go back and pull Steve off that hook ended up being the difference. And then with Steve slugged, once he pulled him off the hook and we slugged Steve, Ash was again in the same boat. We were chasing Yui. Ash was either going to have to go get Steve, which he did not have time to do. So that basically knocked Steve completely out of the match. And then it was a question of, hey, is Ash going to be able to get his trap off? And once he wasn't able to, well, then it was just us finding a way to, to finally put Yui down once and for all and finish off the match at that point. So we used the Tamper Timer Crate of Gears combo not only to get two head pops, but strategically, once we had Ruin and Undying gone, we put members of the surviving team into some very difficult decision-making situations where it was get the trap off my head that's active that I know has already killed somebody, which maybe that might have tipped them off that, hey, he might be running the timer and gears. It's either get your trap off or go pick the person up or get that person off the hook. And that's kind of a lose-lose situation if you're the survivors, and it's why we ended up with a 4K. So that's the power of the Tamper Timer and Crate of Gears, and that's the power of Piggy, even when she loses her totems and she has really nothing to keep the gens from going. That's a way to slow the game down and to keep things from happening and put pressure on survivors. That's what we were able to do. It's why we were able to get the 4K. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the match. Hope you enjoyed seeing the Tamper Timer Crate of Gears in its full effect. Please hit the like and subscribe button while you're here. It would mean a great deal to us as we grow the channel. And you can follow us over on Geriatric Gaming 11 on Twitch and be notified when we get when we go live there. Until the next time, thanks so much again for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.